this weird angle is due to the fact that I just put on the sweatsuit and I feel so freaking cool guys. Y'all just waiting for this because y'all are not ready. Okay guys, so we have to have a little chat. About six months ago, I posted a video called How to Tie Dye Sweat Sets. And that video has popped off, okay? It's gotten like three times the amount of views, probably more, I don't know, I can't do math. It's gotten so many more views than any of my other videos. So, if you watched that video, and now you're watching this video, I may need you to do your girl a favor and subscribe and then you're gonna have to like this video for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps me out okay okay but all jokes aside today I'm going to be doing another tie-dye video yes you heard that right so get excited but it's not just any tie-dye video okay wait for it wait for it <laughs> wait for it it is a bleach dye video. So for this video, all you need is some bleach and some water, and you're going to be able to tie dye you a sweat set. So I'm going to meet you guys outside because I'm not going to do it in here because I don't want to mess anything up. And I'm going to change real fast because this shirt is actually really precious to me. <laughs> this shirt is from my online clothing store. If you didn't know, it is shoppersboutique.com if you would like to check it out. And without further ado, we're going to go outside and tie dye our sweatsuit. So I'm going to meet you out there, okay? <laughs> okay, guys. So we are outside now, and I have everything I think I need to complete this bleach dye. Sweatsuit. Check. Gloves. Check. Rubber bands. Checkity check check. I got a spray bottle and a squeezy bottle because I want, like, both of the effects, like the little splatters of the spray but also the lines of the squeezy bottle so I think we are gonna start with the pants and I'm gonna crumple them first because the pants are always the hardest to me for some reason okay so pretty much what I did for the other video was just lay them out like this and then I did the crumple method where I just crumpled it all up. Also, if this turns out looking bad, I'm 1000% going back to Walmart and buying the same sweatsuit because I wear it every other day. <laughs> starts to turn orange I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm so scared okay I cannot like this glove on okay <laughs> and contact <laughs> also so scary it's not it's not turning I literally used straight blue. <gasps> okay, it is turning a little bit. Yo, it's already turning crazy colors. Like, we're gonna wash this tonight, and then tomorrow, we gonna do the reveal. Is this gonna mess up how soft it is? Because that's not gonna be okay. This sweatsuit is so soft. I might cry if it's not as soft after this. Alright guys, so it is the next day, and I let the set sit with the bleach on it for about two hours last night, and then I put it in the washing machine and washed it and this 
is the result. So I was really hoping that it would be more white, but honestly, this is pretty dope as well. I didn't know how long to let it sit. I wonder if I would have left it there a little longer, if maybe it would be more white. It is so sick. Look how cool that looks. But the most important factor of this whole process is it still as soft? And the answer is yes. <laughs> so it did not change the softness on the inside of this sweatsuit at all. And it just looks pretty dope. So okay guys well that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed bleach dyeing some stuff with me and i will see y'all at my next video don't forget to like this video for me it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm and whatnot and i will see y'all in my next video bye <laughs>